So now let's start sketching in SolidWorks. And uh, for that, I'll go to the Sketch tab. I'll select the Sketch tool and a plane. I'll select Front Plane for this. All right, and we are ready to start sketching. So you can start with the Sketch panel right here and you can select any of the Sketch tools or you can type S for the shortcut palette and from here also you can select the Sketch tools. I'll make a couple of lines. So I will select the line tool from here. Now if you click this arrow which is right beside the line tool you'll see all the other line tools that we have and when you hover your cursor for a moment on any of these tools you'll get a tooltip with this kind of animation that shows the way this tool works and this is same for all the other tools as well. So you can just select the tool and hover over it and you'll see the way it works. I'll select the simple line tool. Now you can start your line tool simply by clicking at a point. So click at a point and then let go your cursor. Don't click and hold your cursor. Don't click and just hold your left click. Just click let go. Though if you click and hold your cursor you'll still get a line but it's still it's not that required kind of thing. So you can click, let go, then again, click again and again and again and you'll have your lines. Now once you're done making your line you can press escape key to exit out of the line command. Now let me select it all and to do that I'll just make a box. So this time I'll click and hold my left click and I'll make a window just by dragging my mouse and now I'll press the delete key to delete everything that I have here. Alright let's go to line again and this time I'll make a closed loop fit line tool. So I'll start with this origin point and I'll make a horizontal line. Now before I do that I want to drive your attention to these things. So here when I'm moving my cursor you can see that this value is changing and that's actually the length and it's actually showing the length in the current unit which is millimeter. So right now it is approximately 48 then 55, 59, 60 and 61 and so on. So as I'm moving it towards right it's changing that value. So you can approximately see the length and make your line. Another thing is this yellow box with this line icon. Now that's a constraint. So in this case it is applying the horizontal constraint on this line which means if I make this line now, if I click here, I'll end up with a line that will remain horizontal because as soon as I clicked now you can see that we have that horizontal constraint added right here. Not only that we also have a new constraint called coincident. Now that constraint will keep this line connected at the origin. So since we started with the origin SOLIDWORKS will ensure that it remains connected at that point. Now I've started the line, I'll click on another point here. Now here what I see is length, so I'll just click again, then again randomly, but before I do that, just look at all these yellow dotted lines. Now these yellow dotted lines are the reference lines and they will help you make your drawing precisely. So in this case, if you want to make a line which is perpendicular to your existing line, then simply move over this yellow dotted line and now it's perpendicular and when it is, it will show you once again that perpendicular constraint or the perpendicular relation. Similarly, if you just move over this line, it will show you this collinear constraint which will basically let you make line which is collinear with the previous one. So you will end up having all of these constraints. Now we have this blue constraint that is for the perfectly horizontal line with respect to our current x, y axis and if you move over to any existing point, for example here if I move close to this midpoint it will highlight that as well. So now that's the midpoint. If I move over this it will show you the endpoint and endpoints and so on. So in this case I'll randomly click here and I'll ensure that none of these references are highlighted and I'll just click here and then maybe I'll just click on this point. And as soon as I clicked here to create a closed loop, this will turn into this kind of gray background. Now this gray background indicates that we now have a completely closed loop of our drawing. All right, I'll just press escape key now to exit out of this command. And here we have our simple geometry made with lines. Now in this case, 
the color of this drawing is blue most of these lines are blue in color but we do have this line which is black now the blue color indicates undefined or underdefined geometry which means you can change its geometry you can change its length shape and so on so if I grab any of these endpoints I can simply deform it I can just grab these lines to just move it along so I can just change these things but not for this one now this one is black in color and that's because we already have a constraint called horizontal added here so I won't be able to make it something else I mean I won't be able to make it vertical or change its angle even if I try to because it is completely horizontal just because of this constraint now if you want to constrain other geometries here all you need to do is just select that so in this case I'll select this line and when you select any geometry it will show you some constraints or relations so right now these three relations can be added here you can add a horizontal relation that will make it completely horizontal like this one a vertical relation it's gonna make it perfectly vertical and a fixed relation which will keep it fixed at its exact location I want to make it vertical so I'll just click on vertical and there we have it it's vertical now all right let's select this line now and again I'll go to horizontal and now this one is horizontal finally I'll press escape I'll select this line and I'll make it vertical again so I'll go to vertical and now we have a perfect rectangle I'll press escape and there we have it now we have constrained all the lines we have added relations everywhere but still this is not fully constrained we do have these two black lines but not these two these were still blue and you can change the geometry just by grabbing these lines you can still change it though you won't be able to change this line or this line and that's why we have these two black well lines here these are black because we cannot change its length along these directions but how to make it completely constrained okay for that you need to restrict the length of these lines so basically you need to add a dimension but before we do that I want to draw your attention towards this thing right now this drawing is underdefined or not fully constrained and when it's like that SOLIDWORKS will show you here on the status bar the status of your line so it is underdefined actually we have a couple of lines here so it will show you the status of your geometry now let's add some dimensions and for that I'll go to this smart dimension tool alright I'll click on this line and then I'll click here when I do that SOLIDWORKS will add this constraint here and this is basically the current length of this line it's 117.28 I'll make it 100 units so I'll just type 100 and I'll press enter all right now this length is 100 and let's do the same here so I'll click on this line I'll click here and I'll just type 50 for this and I'll press enter and that's 50 now so as you can see when I change the dimension here SOLIDWORKS will change the geometry as well and when I added the first dimension SOLIDWORKS will ensure that no matter what length of your geometry is it will just scale it down so that the first length becomes equal to 100 unit and then every other geometry will change its size accordingly now let's look here we have it as fully defined now everything is black and you can see the same thing here on the status bar it's fully defined sketch and you cannot change its shape or its geometry even by moving any of these grips and that's how you should make your geometry so whenever you are making 2d sketches try to make it fully constrained before you exit out of the sketch environment now in this case I have completed my sketch so I'll click on this close sketch option and here we are now we are out of the sketch environment now if you want to move back to sketch and make modifications in this all you need to do is just select your sketch and then from this pop-up palette select edit sketch alternatively you can also go to the feature tree and right click on the sketch and select edit sketch in this case we don't have that because we are already in the sketch environment